Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player world. Today we are taking one step closer, one step closer to our main goal of this entire town, I guess. It's the, it's the thought behind it from the start and why we've built houses the size that we've built them. And that is because we want this whole place to be filled with villages. That's, that's the, at least the, the, right, the idea. And if we fail at it, you know, we, we're gonna make sure we give it a great try. And today, we're going to take one step towards getting that achieved. Now, what I'm going to tell you is that we had a stream where we, we tried to make a villager spawn. Is this guy still around? He is still around. And we tried to make a villager spawn, and we weren't too sure whether it worked. I, um, I ended up getting off the stream before we checked up on it. Uh, but I can tell you that there were some issues with it. And uh, I've, I've done a lot of stuff because I tried to do it off the top of my head, and I think, I think it's going to work. So let's let's quickly sleep and I'll show you exactly what's going on. Basically, the idea of it is that we want to have everything in here, like villages around here everywhere. And I also want to have a villager spawner, but I don't want to have an issue of having villagers spawning all the time and then having to I mean I could just use make an automatic villager killer if we were gonna get too many of them. But I want to be able to like AFK at a spot, get the villagers, and then they'll all be around here doing their thing. So I decided, and I've mentioned this I'm pretty sure before, that we will do it in this mountain over here. And that's where we've done it. So let's quickly head over there. And there's going to be a lot of a lot of work still to do to fix it up, but I think it's, it's going to work quite well. So obviously on the back of this mountain we have not completed it. We have just gone around that side there, and you can see the mountain's not finished at the back here, which is fine. And over here, and I probably should... You know what, it would probably be a smart idea for me to maybe put glass over here. Uh, but I've tried to use a design that I've come out, like, uh, last time I made a, a villager spawner, which was a, a very, very long time ago. I tried to use the, like, idea of that villager spawner in this one here. And what I've done is I've also incorporated something which I've seen recently. Let me just head over here. So, this is the top of the mountain. Let me show you this. This is the top of the mountain. And in this big brown and actually green and white box we have ourselves a couple of villages. So heading down here, look at them. A uh, farmer and a librarian. And then just down on this side here, we'll break these away. And of course, both of them fall down. We've got ourselves a villager to detect this over here. And what this one is, this one's seven blocks down from where that one is. And that's just a trick to get these things to think as a village and it make them try and populate a village. So that's just some technical stuff which I don't quite understand completely and I don't think it's really too important for us to know. It's more important that it works for us, so let's head on up here. And that took us way higher than I was hoping for, and in fact, I'm not going to go straight down because I've learned my lesson. We go down slowly. So let's head down here and I'll show you what's going on. So we will get rid of that and that, put them back there. And there's a big maze of things. Ignore the, the mess. It's not really too important. But if I go over here, and this won't be the entrance. I don't think we're even going to need an entrance here. But this is just for me to show you. We'll squeeze through there and go down there. Squeeze. Oh, in fact, we can get rid of that one there. And jump down. We've got ourselves a baby villager. Now, I'm not 100% certain. But I feel like when there's one of these around, those two in there, the two villagers, are not breeding. So I feel like when we do eventually get this thing working, the villagers are going to just keep pumping down to the middle here. And I think, I want to just try this out because I've got a hole here for them. So underneath this baby villager, it's, it's, tell you what, how about we just say goodbye to this guy? <laughs> it's so cruel, but yes, there is a, a giant funnel, tunnel, funnel? I don't know. I wouldn't call, maybe, maybe I mean... Oh, I probably shouldn't look up, but uh, it's kind of like a funnel, I guess. They all get pushed in here and uh, drop down this way. But we've got this giant tunnel, and I'm very confident in saying tunnel. Uh, going all the way down that way, and it's very, very long. I'm not going to go all the way. You can imagine. Imagine how long that is. And that's going down to the pond, which is right next to the stables in our village. But what the plan is, is that as these villagers, villagers are going to be dropped... They're going to fall down here. Here's another one. Yep, there we go. They definitely are spawning. And you can see when we took that one guy away, another one spawned. So obviously, if we just keep them spawning up, if I had some water on me, I would help these guys out. But that's all right. Uh, once they drop down here, they're going to be saved by water and pushed along into the city. And eventually, once they get to the end, we're going to shoot them up. And I've got some ideas for that there. So head on up and we will... Yep, 
get out of here. And here's the actual trick, not having us not fall down this hole. Actually, if I go here, I might have enough time to get a ender pearl. And then what we'll do is we'll try and ender pearl our way out if we can. Come on, this this is gonna take us some great skill and Oh no, we didn't make it. <laughs> Alright, we made it out. And that is pretty much this spawner in a nutshell. And it's a very simple spawner. Uh, basically, up in the top there, I think you kind of got an idea when I fell in there of what's going on. But the villagers are breeding by feeding... The, so the one farmer is feeding the other guy. And that's making them pop out a little baby villager every now and then, obviously. And I don't want to have it ridiculously fast. I mean, I'm not I'm not all for efficiency in this farm. It's As long as we get some... Oh, man. These ender pearls. Uh, as long as we get some villagers, I'm happy. That's the plan, of course. We don't, we don't want to have a ridiculous amount. But uh, I think that this thing will work for us. As long as it does one every few minutes or one every few seconds like that, that's fine. I feel like as long as we can replace villagers in here as quick as they can be killed by zombies, uh, we'll be good. I want to quickly see this. I, I checked this while we were on stream as well. And get in there. No, we didn't make it. We'll have to fly over. And see how many dragon eggs we've got. I think we're approaching 100 eggs in... Oh, no. In total. Man. Man, we made it. <laughs> Alright, let's go in for a slower, softer landing. And yes, I do have a diamond hoe on me. Uh, if you guys actually saw when we built the... Okay, we've definitely duplicated a few more of these. Yeah, if you saw when we built the giant farm over there, that's where we got this diamond hoe. And that was the reason. Was because we just did so much farmland. And we, we needed it. We needed it. Enchanted. And we've got mending on it as well. I'll put that on in the stream. So, what I'm going to do now is... We had a look at a spot yet, like, in the last episode, and we'll go down here. I got a very great comment, a very, very useful comment, actually, uh, to fix up this area here, which I didn't really like, and I mentioned it, but I said we would just live with it, and by the way, that's that's out of place. We'll, we'll put it back in place. There. Pick that up. Put that in there. We we're trying to get a, a zombie villager in here, and we'll put one of those down there. Cool. So that's somewhat safe again. But the idea was, and I thought it was a very great idea, uh, to make a few zombie traps, and I'll, I'll show you what I've got in mind for that, because I thought it was a really great idea. What we do need for it is a villager. We have captured ourselves a villager, well in fact we captured a zombie villager, and uh, now we've got ourselves a villager. And what we, what the plan is from now, is we're going to go and put this guy in a hole. Can I, can, I can't go over that. Alright, back it up, back it up. There we go, get this guy and that guy, and then put these away. And we should- oh no, you know what? I know we can't go over those, so let's just make that one level. And now we should be cool. Now we'll be cool to keep going with this. Such a tedious job moving villagers and getting them, that was the actual problem. I actually gave up on our zombie villager, and as I turned it today, because I was just going to go and take this nitwit, I, uh, I found another one, so that was, that was perfect timing. No zombies coming around. Nope. Alright, if we can get this guy in here, I want to get him onto a spot in here somewhere. Let's let's see if I can go one more block down around here and put him in there. If I can, I will be super super happy. We can just go in there and he's still in. Perfect. Drop down. No, no, no. No. Is he dead? He's not dead. Great. Drop again and I hope I can back this guy in. Let's check if we can back it, back this up. I think he still drops off the side though. So let me just get out and block. Get that that if you are five mode is messing us around just to make sure we don't get any zombies. Do I have a torch? I do. And there we'll we'll go F three B to make sure we don't hurt the guy. Cool. All right. So we'll go like that, and we'll go F3B again, and try and get this guy in here. Oh man, we've got this... It's impossible to get these guys out of corners. Can I... I don't want to hit him once. And apparently they're too tall. Are they... You should be able to go in there. Alright, tell you what, we'll just, we'll just shift this up one block to that side. That's not a problem. We can do that. We'll do that there. And then, to keep him in here, we need to put a block in front of him. 
Now he shouldn't be able to get out of there. Cool. So this should be all right. Now, you guys can see where I'm going with this trap, I hope. And if not, it should become very apparent very, very shortly. Because what I'm about to do... Let's get rid of this stuff. Uh, what I'm about to do is I'm about to make a little bit of a staircase for zombies to walk down to get to this guy. And as they come down this staircase... They should should see themselves in a in a little a little bit of trouble down here. So we'll, we'll pop this in over. In fact, actually, they need to see a full path to this guy. I think. So if if we put this down here, they will see him up there and then try and attack him. I think. I hope. I feel like that's the way it will work. So as they come over here, I'm going to be putting in a, a little bit of it. Let's just do it right now. Let's do it right now. We'll put this guy in here and get one of those. And. Do I keep that there? Yep, I think I will. I think I'll just do this here. And knock myself out there. So that when these guys come down here, there'll be two blocks around there with one over here, one over here. And both of these open. And then, well, I just hit the Windows button. There we go, I'm back. And we'll put one of those over there. And I think... That if all goes to plan, this over here should be a pretty good trap. And what we could do is in the city, because this would actually be very good for when villages are turned into zombie villages, to be able to renew them over, if you if you get what I mean. So as soon as we get a zombie villager, it's going to try and attack the villager in here at some point. Even if it goes through a lot of villages, it'll eventually try and get this guy in here. And, well, if we've got a few of these around the city... And when it does go for that, it, they will obviously burn up. And then that will solve our zombie villager problem. So I'll do this here. Let's go out there. And I don't think there's any wood that can burn. Actually, can trap doors burn? We'll learn soon enough. <laughs> I feel like they can. So I hope that isn't going to be a problem. But if, if so, we can fix that pretty easily. And there, there, there. We'll leave us out here for a second. And then we will come back and see if we go have got any guys spawning around here attacking that guy. Okay, so there's a zombie down there that I've just attacked. And you can see, you can kind of see him. And I'm hoping that it's going to go for the villager. But it looks like it's got more interest in me, which is kind of annoying. And the cool thing about this guy is we can play around and see if we can get far away. Because he's got a... Okay, there we go. That looks like he's not interested in me. He's interested in the wrong villager. Okay, here's another one. Okay, we've got a few coming. Let's see what happens here. I think that one of these... Okay, they're interested in me. More interested in me. Uh, I'll, I'll move away. Actually, what I'll do is I'll pillar up a bit. I wonder what the distance is before these end up losing interest in me. Okay, that guy over there... Is he? No, he's not interested. They all seem to be pathing towards either there or me. Still onto me, and maybe let me just go a little bit more up. Yeah, man, these things are... I feel like this trap's definitely going to work. I just... I'm, I'm causing the issue here. Let me go even further up, and hopefully... Something will happen. Some movement's happening there. Nothing that we want. Alrighty. Uh, perhaps we should uh, just go for a little bit, a little bit higher. And they're losing interest. I think the Guanga just despawned. I feel like they're taking priority over the one that is on their height. Although, yeah. Yep, they look like they're doing that. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to make a few changes, and hopefully we can see ourselves getting ourselves a zombie to fall into our trap. Oh no, we're stuck. We're stuck. Alright, so what we've got here is I've got a zombie trapped in here. And it seems that, I mean, because obviously I can't test this with me in the way, because I, I just keep, uh, keep getting in the way of the test. I feel like if I could do this, if I can get this right, just to see whether or not this zombie will uh, will jump into this voluntarily. 
or involuntarily, depending on... Ah, you know what? I see the problem. This is the problem. We'll do that. Get rid of this guy. Can we hear it? There we go. There you go. Okay, so that is going to work. They are going to fall for that trap, provided I'm not here, I would imagine. And let me just fill up these. Just because we may as well fill them up properly and we'll get rid of these here. However, in the city, by the way, we're not going to have all these holes like this. I, I want to make it a bit more prettier. So we'll get rid of that one and make this a, a good, easy path down. Like that. So you can, yeah, you can, it'll path fine to there. Nice and easily. So we'll do that one. We'll do that one, that one. And another two, so we can make sure of it. So they'll come down here. Of course, this is just a prototype. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, but that's another idea. Actually, another thing which came up, which I have mentioned before, I'm fairly certain, but I, I think it's a great idea, and I will eventually do it. Not in this world, though, but I, I do plan on doing this for our next world, is having a mob switch. So having a bunch of shulker, uh, shulker mobs, you know, the shulkers from the nether, uh, from the end, Having a bunch of them in a big air in a small area in the spawn chunks. So basically, if you guys don't know, the chunks over there, there's some chunks in that direction which are loaded at all times. And those are your spawn chunks. And what I want to do is I want to put in some shulkers because they won't despawn. And I can keep them in those spawn chunks. And that will just take up the number of mo mobs that are in my world. Because every time Minecraft wants to spawn some mobs in, it says, hey, you've got. 70 mobs, which will be those shulkers in there. Loaded right now, we're not going to load anymore. And one issue is that, and the reason why you need to use shulkers, is because mobs like zombies and skeletons will despawn if you move away from them, uh, they, they won't work. And even if you name tag them, if you name tag them, I'm fairly certain the way Minecraft does it is it puts it onto another list. So it doesn't go on the list of mobs, it goes onto a list that doesn't get added to the amount of mobs in the world. So you can't have a bunch of name tag mobs to keep them from spawning there. But what I want to do now is I've got a few things that I want to fix up about this. Obviously, I don't want this mountain looking like it is right now. And I also want to check whether or not we can save a few of these guys and see how quick they actually do spawn in here. Because that'll be a good little, a good little number to know about. So we'll get one of those and we'll get some water in there. All right, so before we go any further, I want to get this little bit of the mountain sorted out because I don't want to be able to see these guys in here doing their stuff. Of course, we will have a special way of getting in, a secret entrance to get in here, but I don't really want this stuff to be here. And in fact, I'm just going to put that guy back there. And I'm going to get rid of this a little bit just to make it blend in with the mountain. We can do something like that there. And then and then just pull these up here to hide hide the bone block and hide all the other stuff that's around here. And I guess I probably should use a little bit of stone, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Here is where we do have a little bit of a tricky problem. And this was my thought, which was actually a suggestion from stream, is to put in a bit of glass like this in the uh, the darker colors, like the, uh, the grays and stuff like that, to make it look a little bit more like this is actually part of the mountain. And I think that will work. I think this will actually do a very good job here. So we'll do that, we'll put that in there, and then that means we can put in some... Oh, actually, I should have some in here. Apparently not. Apparently we don't have stone in our stone box. So I'm going to have to go into one of these others. I think there's, that's cobblestone. And a site. There, that's our stone one. I think this is a mess of stone and, yep, dirt. There we go. That'll work. That'll work for us. We'll just put in a little bit here. No, not that. One of these here, here, and there. And of course, we could just put these up here, and I think this will be all right. You can't, obviously, that means it protects us from zombies. And that also, I think, will be all right from the side here. Let's check this out. Yep, if I didn't tell you, I don't think that would catch your eye immediately. So that's our first sol like solution to our problem. The next problem that we've been having is, obviously, we've got to fix these sides up. We'll, we'll do that. That's pretty quick and easy. We can just block, like, block these up with a bit of that, a bit of that. And in fact, I feel like this one was a little bit out, so I want to change that to one of those. And we'll make this very, very simple and short for us now, because of course, you guys have seen this. You guys have seen me build a mountain, <laughs> like this one. And what I'm going to do now is instead of carrying on with this, I'm going to go and fix our very last problem, 
which I want to actually grab another another bucket of water for. So we'll go down here, and then I will go around here. And this water looks very much like the normal Minecraft water at night. I've never actually noticed that. So I think this. I think I know exactly what I need to do to fix that. But that's um. That's just an interesting thought. And I think I. I I'm just saying. You guys saw me get that bucket of water, right? <laughs> This happened when I got that bucket of lava from the nether. I picked it up, and I must have put it back, or it just didn't load in. There we go, we've got it for good now. So if I can go in there, and then in there, and... I should be able to get through now. I can get rid of this. Why did I just... Why did I not do this from the beginning? <laughs> Make myself a point that I can walk right through. I can hear a zombie around here somewhere. I can hear many zombies around here. Alright, so going down here, let's check, check our backs, make sure there's no zombies around. Uh, obviously these baby villagers are falling down here, which is what we want. We want the baby villagers to fall down, but what I want to do is I want to save them. I want them to be somewhat alright when they get to the bottom here, and hopefully we can be as well. There we go. And I want to put in one of these shulker boxes around here, grab some of those, and obviously, uh, well, I'll make I'll make it a bit later. I was going to say we're going to make some pieces of well, some signboards to make sure that we don't have the water pulling into each other, and we can make a big long stream here, which I don't think is too exciting. So I will not show you guys that. <laughs> I'll show you once it's done, and that won't be today anyway. So we'll we'll just get these gone here, take that one, and make ourselves a water source down here for when I do do that a bit later. So we'll put one of those in, put one of those in. And I do actually need one sign. That's the only thing I need. I need one sign. I'll take those out there. And that will make us one of these. And it's always always the case. I never have what we need when we need it. So one of those there. I thought we had signs in there. Apparently I don't. But if I put that there without any message on it. And I can take one of these out. This should save the next baby villager that falls down here. I would imagine. <laughs> Let's just hope we get one to spawn soon enough. So that's the thought, and I feel like we'll we'll have a surprise. Tell you what, I'll tell you what happens in the end. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I've actually got a lot of stuff done in this episode, and I'm really, really excited for how this is going to turn out. But I've got one question, one very important question about this, which I need to ask you, uh, because I think th that you guys will have some pretty cool ideas. And... Let's check if we can get down here. We made it. We nailed it, in fact. <laughs> and I can come out through here. Get me through that. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're safe, I think. No creepers. Good. All right. So here is my question. <laughs> Let's get to that before I forget and get distracted with other stuff. So my question is... When we have these villages, because there's a tunnel going here, and where the tunnel is is not really too important. As long as it comes to our village, I think that's the important part. I need to get myself a spawn area for these villages. So if that makes sense, we're going to have a spot where villagers are just going to pop out and be like, ah, oh, I'm in a village, and keep walking. That's the thought. I need to work out how we are going to do that and where we are going to put it. So I was thinking, for instance, we could do something like have one in this tree and just have a villager pop out if we could hide one in the tree. Or maybe have one in a house and have them all just pop out through a, a spawn house. That could be cool as well. I'm not too sure what my th like whether or not my thoughts will help you guys think of something. But if anyone does come up with a cool idea, I'd be very, very interested to perhaps hear it and perhaps build it. So if you guys have got it, leave it down in the comments there. But I think for today, this will conclude this episode for good. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.